Hola, hola, buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Buenas noches. Ok. Buenas noches. How are you? Buenas noches. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. What about your day? How was it? I'm fine. So, so, good evening. Huh? It was good? Yes? You had a really good day or so so? Good. It was good. Okay, so we are going to start with today's class and well, welcome again. This is our second class. And as the first point that we are going to mention, we are going to start with our quote. Okay, the quote of the day. That means la frase del día. So Yvette. Help us reading that phrase. What? Ayúdenos a leer. <laughs> uh, okay. Every new day, changing way possibilities. Okay. Thank you. So every new day begins. Okay. Begins with possibilities. Begin. Yes. Okay. So that means that cada día. Cada nuevo día que dice comienza con posibilidades, right? Of course, good possibilities, posibilidades buenas, okay? So you should be always with a positive attitude, okay? So that is the quote of today, and I hope you have had an incredible day, okay? Espero que hayan tenido un muy buen día, okay? So right now, let's start with our class. Just uh, friendly, friendly reminders, okay? Um, remember about evaluation and homework. Don't forget about this because this is so important, okay? Es super importante. No se les olvide realizar las evaluaciones y las tareas. Um, so the requirements, the requerimientos, okay? Nombre completo, okay? Nombre completo, por favor. Al conectarse, ¿verdad? Eh, la cámara encendida, ustedes ya saben. El micrófono siempre pues apagado. Y recordarles acerca de la asistencia. Asistencia, aunque okay, es muy importante. Eh, la primera asistencia se va a pasar a las 8 y 20 y luego a las 9 y 40. Y tenemos que estar toda la meeting, toda la clase, toda la reunión con la cámara encendida. ¿Ok? Eh, como últimos puntos. Nada más volver a mencionar ¿verdad? el botón de silencio, la cámara y el nombre completo. Please. Y respeto ¿verdad? a todos los compañeros, a todos sus classmates. Eh, por favor, ¿verdad? respeto. Y nada más. Ok. Las tareas y, evalu y evaluaciones. Homework and evaluation. So we have four weeks. Week one with two, with three, with four, and you already know about the dates, right? I already explained this yesterday, so you are familiar with this, and you also have the spreadsheet information, okay? You already have everything. So if you have questions, let me know, okay? If you have questions, let me know, but you already have everything about evaluations and homework, okay? Well, let's start then and let's start with today's agenda. So today's agenda, we have the warm up. then we're going to move to verb to be. So we are going to have a review about yesterday's class. We have a speaking time. Today, we are going to have a lot of speaking, okay? Then we are going to move to a versus an or a versus an. This word, this letter, a, Se puede pronunciar A or A, and it's correct, okay? Then we are going to have practice uh, about this, vocabulary, and the wrap-up. And remember that today, today we have uh, the session time, the feedback time. Ya vamos a verificar quién es la persona que este día, pues, va a estar en el feedback, okay? Ahora. Vamos con el warm-up primero. ¿Qué es el warm-up? Es una actividad de inicio. ¿Okay? Quiero que todos nos vayamos a su hoja, a la spreadsheet, al enlace, 
todos. Todos, todos, todos. Y a la hoja. Vámonos a la hoja. Let's go to the spreadsheet. Eso se llama spreadsheet. Ok, cuando yo le diga, let's go to the spreadsheet, me refiero a esto. Ok, so let's go to the spreadsheet. Let's go there and let's open, first of all, the class. Primero vamos a abrir la clase porque la voy a utilizar este día. Para speaking, va a ver todas las cosas que vamos a practicar. Y cuando los mande a las breakout rooms, you will have the information. Va a tener la información a la mano. Eh, Marcelo. Teacher, me puede compartir nuevamente el link. Eh, el link. Me lo encuentro. Okay, don't worry. Let me send it here in the chat. Ok. I already sent it. Ya se los mandé en el chat. Vamos a abrir la clase y luego, ok, so first, we are going to open the class. Um, this is English class week uh, one, Thursday 22nd. That means today. And let's open the warm up. This one, the one that says warm up. Open that one. Open that one. The warm up. Open it. Okay. Es enlace. Let's open it. Ábralo. Open it. De clic sobre él y lo abre. Okay, I already see one. I already see one of you. I see two of you. Okay. I already see four. Let me see, and I have 14. So I should see 14 people right here. 14. Todos tenemos que estar aquí. Remember, what you are going to open is this. Este. Yo soy posicionada sobre él. Que dice warm up. Ok, ¿ready? ¿Todos estamos listos? Yes or no? I'm ready. You are ready? Ok, thank you, Jose. Let's see, Liliana, are you ready? Erebin, are you ready? Joni, ready? No. Okay. One second, okay? Okay. Marco, are you ready? Ready. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Erica? Ready? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Irma? No, teacher, todavía no, no estoy ahorita. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. Perfect. One minute, ok. I'll give you one minute. Ok, so in the meantime, I'm going to explain. Ok, les voy a explicar. I'm going to explain what we are going to do. So what we are going to do today as a warm up, remember, a warm up is an activity that we do at the beginning of the class. Ok. Es un warm up. What are we going to do? We are going to work on teams. Okay, vamos a trabajar en equipos. Yes. So we have right here team one, team two, team three, team four, team five, team six, and so on. Okay, so I'll give you your team number. Yo le voy a dar su, su número de equipo. And what you should do is that you are going to type your name and your teammate's name as well. Okay, so el nombre suyo y el de su compañero. Yeah. And what you are going to do is that you are going to unscramble. Unscramble is 
descifrar, reorganizar, reorganize those four sentences. Okay, so the one, the, the team that finishes first wins. Okay, el que termine primero gana. Okay, so right now I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Let me see. Okay, so you are 14. I'm going to create seven, seven breakout rooms. Okay, seven breakout rooms. Okay, I'm going to give you your team number. So team one, Jose and Suleima. Okay, be careful, pay attention. Le estoy dando el número de su equipo. Team one, Jose and Suleima. Team two, Irma and Irving. Team three, Brian and Marco. Team four, Liliana and Tania. Team five, Yvette and Johnny. Team six, Erica and Marcelo. And team seven, Irma and Luis. Okay, remember, you are going to add your name. Escribe su nombre. For example, team one, Jose and Suleima. Así quiero que lo hagan todos. Team two, Irma and Irving. Okay, puede escribir. Y vamos a comenzar. You have four minutes. Four minutes and then I'm going to call you back to the main room. Okay, so here we go. Hurry up. Okay, are you ready, Irma? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, so Irvin is here waiting, okay? So let's hurry up. Eh, teacher, solo que yo tengo un problema que no puedo abrir el... El, el documento. Ajá, es que se me salió, estaba conectado a la comp, pero se me salió. Ok. Sí, es en este mismo problema estoy yo. Entonces okay. me conecté del... Ah, oh, ok, ya lo vi. Sí, ahí lo puede volver a abrir. Ok. Continue, ok. I, I will... If you have any, any, any problem, let me know. Ok, ask for help. And let me see the other guys, ok. Let me monitor the other rooms, ok. I'll be right back. Ok, right. seríamos el... Okay, let me see Erica and Marcelo. Hi. Okay. Ya, ya la ordenamos. Okay, but, but I don't see it. I don't see it here. I don't see your answers. Eh, sería my name is Peter. Okay, you should, eh. you should type it in. Tiene que escribir una hoja. Yes. Soy de la iPad y esta me cuesta un montón. Uh -huh. Lo escribo acá en el chat, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. Yes. So you have two options. You have two options, Marcelo and Erika. The first option is that you can send it uh, in the chat or you can come right here and add your name, team six, okay? Marcelo and Erica, and you type your answers. You type them right here. La escribe. Are you from the computer? Hola. Are you from the computer? Uh, no. And you, Erica? Uh, 
Are you from the computer? En, en el celular. Okay, so let's do something. Write them down on your notebook and I will call you back in three minutes and you should give them to me. Okay? Yes, en su cuaderno. Pero necesito que la escriba. ¿Sí? Después le voy a preguntar. All right? Perfect. Okay. Yes. Let me go to the next room because they are asking for help. Okay, give me one second. Hi, Hope. Did you finish? Eh, las tenemos, pero no podemos editar el archivo. Okay, let me see. Yes, but you can. Oh, okay. Let me see. Try again. Ahorita, a ver. No, 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 no. No, reloaded? No. no. Reloaded? Si se las di, si se mm -hmm. las di, se puede. Ok, go. Eh, la primera sería, my name is Peter. Ok. Number two, eh, he is not happy. Ok. Number three, my name is Andrew. And number four, uh, we are best friends. Okay. Okay, so did you do it as a team? ¿Lo hicieron en, en, en team, en equipo? Sí, de hecho, quería tratar de compartirle la pantalla de la compañera, pero no pude. Ah, okay. 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 okay, very good. So, I will call you back to the main session, okay? Give me one second, okay? Thank okay. you. All right. Okay, so I'm let's just go. Ah, good evening. How are you, Franklin? Ay, disculpe por la tardanza. Vengo corriendo el trabajo. Okay, okay, Franklin. Sí, yo tengo un problema. Estoy conectado en la compu aquí en ese grupo y en el teléfono okay. estoy con Irma. Oh, my God. So you are? No sé qué hacer. Okay, Irma. So let's see. Um, ok, give me one second. Ya llamé a todos a la sesión principal nuevamente, Irving. Eh, creo que le va a llegar un mensaje para que usted vuelva de regreso también. Sí, porque bien raro, no sé qué pasó. Ya, yeah, it's so weird. Pero solo está conectado en un device. Sí, estaba conectado con Irma. Ok. Ok, it's... Okay, don't worry. Bye. Okay, so let's see. Number one, which was number one? My name is Peter. My name is Peter. Number two? He is not happy. He is not happy. Number three? My name is Andre. My name is Andrew. Okay, and number four? We are best friends. We are best friends. Was it difficult? Yeah. No, it was not difficult. It was easy. Okay. Easy, easy. 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 Yeah. Piece of cake. Okay. So let's start with the verb to be reviewed. Okay. So as I was mentioned yesterday, guys, so we have subjects. I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. And we also have the verb to be for each. So okay, so for I, which is the verb to be? Which is the verb to be of I? I am. Uh -huh. am. For you? Are. 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 For we? Are. Are. They? Are. Are. He? Is, is. For she is, is. and for it is, is very good. Okay, so remember that we also have this structure. We have the subject. What is the meaning of subject? Sujeto. Okay, so we have the subject. We have the verb to be and we also have the complement. So Franklin, help us reading the first sentence. Help us reading. Read this sentence, Franklin. 
Léala. Uh, she is happy. She is happy. Now the negative, Franklin. She is not happy. Very good. So we have subject is not because it's the verb to be in negative and we have the complement. Yes. So now we also have questions. Can you please help us reading the question, Johnny, with the intonation? Con entonación y estilo, Johnny. Okay, intonation and a style. Okay, all right. Uh, is she happy? Is she happy? And which are the possible answers, Johnny? Which are the possible answers? All right, uh, the answer is possible is yes, she is or not, she is not. Perfect, thank you. So the possible answers are yes, she is or no, she is not. Okay, so right now, if I ask you, are you happy? Are you happy? Let me see. Are you happy, Luis? Hi, Luis. Are you happy? Creo que no le escuche. Hello, Luis. Creo que sería, no. yes, I'm happy. Yes, I am happy. But yes, happy. in this case, remember that those are short answers. Son respuestas pequeñas. Yes. So what we need to say is, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. So let's uh, continue right now. And I'm going to stop for a minute. And we are going to. Eh, vamos a pasar lista. Ok. Vaya. Los que no tenemos la cámara, la encendemos. Recordemos la cámara encendida. Ok. Vamos a pasar lista. Ok. So, here we go. Eh, muy bien. Vaya. Pongamos atención. Y si yo no menciono su nombre, por favor, me dice, teacher, you didn't mention my name. Okay, and remember you are going to say present. Okay, present. So, Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Present. Thank you. Christian Marcelo Ramirez Morán. Present. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Okay. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrias. Okay. Erika Beatriz Reyes Mendez. Present. Thank you. Franklin Emmanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Ok. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Okay. Present. Ok. Um, José Enrique Cielesar Alas. Present. Yes. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Jocelyn? No. Ok. Um, Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. No. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Present. Thank you. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Ok. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Tuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Ok. 
Very good. So let me see. We are going to continue. Let me just share my screen. Okay. So we were explaining about questions. Yes. So remember that we have short answers. Short answers means respuestas cortas. What do I mean by that? I mean, for example, if I ask you, are you happy? You, you just need to reply. You just need to answer, yes, I am, period. Okay, yes, I am, hasta ahí. It's not necessary for us to say, yes, I am happy. No es necesario decir toda la oración nuevamente, porque son respuestas cortas. Okay, so if I ask you, are you happy? Yes, I am. Are you sad? No, I am not. Short answers. Respuestas cortas. Short. Okay. Then, let's see. Luis, A, B, C, or D. Who knows? A. Letter A. Okay, can you please read, Suleyma? Read the whole sentence. Huh? Read the whole sentence. Read. Luis, Luis is not a pilot. Okay, mm -hmm. repeat after me and say pilot. Pilot. Very good. Once again, go again, Suleyma, with the same sentence. Mm -hmm. Read it one more time. Huh? Read it one more time. La dos. No, the first one. Read it again. Leámosla nuevamente. Mm, Luis is not a pil pilot. Pilot. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number two. Le voy a preguntar al final de la clase cómo se pronuncia. Para ver si se acuerda, Solena. Okay. Number two. Okay. Yes. Number two. Who wants to participate? Liliana is a model. Is a model. Very good. And number three. Thank you. Are, are your parents from China? No, they are not. No, they are not. Okay, thank you. So are your parents from China? No, they are not. But let's say that this is affirmative. Si fuera positiva, ¿cómo vamos a responder? Are your parents from China, Brian? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So let's see. Liliana, are you from Colombia? Me lo vuelve a repetir, por favor. Yes. Are you from Colombia? Uh, no, no entiendo. <laughs> okay. Are you from Colombia? Are you from Colombia? Remember, are your parents from China? Son tus papás de China? Mm, no, no, they are not. Okay, so are you, are you from Colombia? Uh, no sé. Ok, pregúnteme usted a mí, Liliana. Pregúnteme, are you from Colombia? Are you from Colombia? No, I am not. Are you from Colombia, Liliana? No, I not. I am not. I am I am not. Okay. Liliana, are you from Brazil? Are, 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 I am not. Okay. No, I am not. Not, I am not. Okay. Thank you, Liliana. Franklin, are you from uh, Portugal? No, I am not Portugal. Okay. No, I am not. No, I am not. Very good. Franklin, are you from 
the United States? No, I am not from the United States. Okay, so remember short answers. Respuestas short. Okay. Respuestas cortas, no necesitamos decir toda la oración. Solo nos quedamos hasta no, I am not. Hasta ahí. No, no, I am not. Correct. Very good. Marcelo, are you from Spain? Are you from no. Spain? Uh, Perdón que no lo escuché muy bien. Okay, are you from Spain? I am not. No, I am not. Okay. Yes, I think that the internet connection is kind of slow, right? So, Marco, are you from El Salvador? Yes. Yes, I am. Perfect. Uh, Luis, are you from Costa Rica? No, I am not. Thank you, Luis. Tania, are you from Nicaragua? No, I am not. Irma, are you from Guatemala? No, I am not. Perfect. Uh, Yvette, are you from Japan? No, I am not. Johnny, are you from Brazil? Of course. No, I am not. <laughs> no, I am not. Jose, are you from New Zealand? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Suleima, are you from Honduras? No, I am not. Okay. Yes. So short answers. Muy bien. Respuestas cortas. Okay. Very good. Okay. Vamos bien. Okay, so now let's move and let's go to the spreadsheet. Vámonos nuevamente al spreadsheet. Y los que tenemos la computadora, vamos a abrir, let's open what it says, writing practice. Vamos a abrir ese documento. Los que tenemos computadora, los que no. All right, so I'm going to project my screen. Usted va a ver mi pantalla. ¿Y qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Los que pueden, vamos a buscar su nombre. You need to look for your name. Aquí están todos. Busque su nombre. And what you should do is you are going to write down two affirmative and two negative sentences using the verb to be. The ones that do not have a computer, you need to send two affirmative and two negative sentences in the chat. En el chat necesito ver esas dos oraciones positivas y dos oraciones negativas utilizando el verbo to be, los que no podemos ingresar al documento porque no tenemos la computadora. Mándelo en el chat de Zoom. Dos positivas y dos negativas. Utilizando verb to be. Two sentences. Two. If you have questions, Ask me. Si tiene preguntas, hágalas. Okay, so let's see, Brian. I am a student. He is a good doctor. Okay, I see Brian. I see Irma, I see Erebin, I see Yvette, Johnny, Luis, okay, Tania, Suleima. Okay, I see that you are here in the document. So the other ones should send the sentences in the chat. Okay, let's see, Johnny, I am, I am is called, or let's see, let's see the structure. Basémonos en la estructura, let's see the structure. 
subject, verb to be, and complement. Johnny, you have added two verb to be. Yes, tiene am and is. Okay, just one. I am a teacher. Okay, I am happy. Okay, she is a nurse. Okay, very good. She is not a nurse. Very good, Erica. Mm -hmm. Let me see the other ones. Let me see the other ones. Okay, she's not a nurse. They are not from England. Very good. Yes, Brian. So well done. Well done. Yes. Well done. Let me see. Franklin, I am a doctor. Okay, continue. Okay, Irma. Yes, is happy or you or he or she? Mm -hmm. The first one, la primera, the first one. Erwin, huh? I am happy, she is happy. I am not happy, she is not happy. Yes, well done. Very good. Yvette, I am small, okay. He is, okay, a pilot. Okay, she is not sad. They are not happy. Okay, I'm going to explain something about adjectives later on, but very good. I am very uh, lucky. Okay, lucky. She's, okay. Okay, so in this case, we have a student, but a student is not an adjective. No es un adjetivo. Okay, I think that, uh, Jose, maybe you quiere poner estudioso. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, so how do you say estudioso? Studious. I'm going to spell it for you. We raised a student. I'm going to spell it for you. Mm, you are missing the letter O be before you. Uh, yeah, O U S. No, O U S. A studios. Uh, you are missing the letter I before O. Before? So you have D I O, yes, like that. Perfect. So let me see, they are students, he is mechanic. Okay, he is a mechanic. No, it is not a new car. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see, she is very, yes, studious. Okay, in the negative sentence, no, he is not or... So, okay, so just remember, remember the structure. Remember this structure. I am seeing that you are mixing. Estamos mezclando la respuesta negativa con la oración. Recordemos que una respuesta es muy diferente a una oración. Entonces, si se fija, tenemos sujeto, verb to be, plus complement. En... Let's go to the to the exercises. Here, it's not negative answer. It's negative sentence. Yes, es una oras, dos oraciones negativas. No son respuestas negativas. Son oraciones. Cuando usted vea sentences, significa oraciones. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let me see, Louis, I am a student. She is a nurse, okay. No, I am, ah, okay. Estamos mezclando respuesta con oración, Louis. She is not a student. Yes, la coma no va ahí, okay. La oración no lleva coma. Marco, I am a doctor. He is a pilot. Ok, lo mismo. Aquí estamos mezclando oración con respuesta. All right. Do not mix this, uh, the sentence with the 
answer. Ok, una vez, vamos a explicar. Recordemos, las oraciones del verbo to be, positive sentence and negative sentence. Hmm? So the positive sentence, we have the subject, she, the verb to be, is the complement, happy. Negative, subject, she, verb to be in negative, is not complement, happy. Sentences. Esas son oraciones. ¿Cómo se dice oraciones en inglés? Sentences. Así como lo ve ahí, las indicaciones. Sentences. Yes. So let me see. Arreglemos lo que tenemos mal, lo que hemos hecho la oración y la respuesta juntas. She is not, uh -huh, she is not a singer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am working, Tanya, okay. We are very happy, very good, Tanya. I am not quiet, okay. She is not a doctor, yes. She is pretty, okay, Suleyma. I am sick, okay. She is not shy, very good. You are not fat. Well done, very good. Let me see, Marco, okay, yes. Hey, Luis, she is not a student, okay. Let's just fix that one. Arreglemos esta. No, I am a student. Hay que arreglar esa. Let me see, Jose. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Eh, let's see. Okay. Um, Marcelo, I think that you are requesting this link. I'm not sure if that's the one that you are requesting, but I'm sending that one, okay? Dígame si ese es el link que necesita. Okay, let's see. Guys, let me ask you. Do you have questions about the verb to be? Tenemos preguntas. ¿Qué preguntas tenemos? Mm -hmm. What questions do you have? No tenga miedo ni pena de preguntar. What questions do you have? Okay, Franklin. Eh, el verbo eh, detener es el mismo cuando es plural o singular. Tener, for example. O sea, eh, por lo menos en... Yo tengo en la respuesta como, yo tengo una duda o yo te pido una explicación como positivo o negativo, no sé, pero tener. Tener, ok. Uh -huh. El verbo tener es have. Por ejemplo, si usted me quiere decir, teacher, yo tengo una duda. ¿Cómo me lo puede decir? Teacher, I have a doubt. I have a doubt. Ahí se lo mandé en el chat. Todos mirando el chat. I have a doubt. Teacher, I have a doubt. Y me dice su. ¿Ok? Lo mismo, cuando usted no comprenda, ¿ok? Recordemos que estamos aprendiendo inglés y es importante que lo hablemos. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando usted no comprenda algo, usted me va a decir, Teacher, I don't understand. I don't understand, teacher. No quiero que me diga, no le entiendo. No. En inglés, I don't understand. Ok, cuando usted me quiera decir, teacher, disculpe, una pregunta. Ok, teacher, excuse me. Teacher, excuse me. I have a question. I have a question. Y me hace su pregunta. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice eh, agricultor? Teacher, how do you say agricultor? Who knows? ¿Quién sabe? 
agricultor. Nobody. Eh, no sé si era la misma que nos mostró ayer en las profesiones. Yes. Eh, si no creo, si no se me que era farm. Farmer. Um, Very good. Uh -huh. Yes, Jose. Excellent. Agricultor, farmer. Okay, so this, um, this is uh, some, I would say, vocabulary. Eh, esas son algunas preguntas o frases que ustedes pueden hacer. Tratemos de usarlas. Okay, let's try to use them. So then let's move and we have yes and no questions. Verb to be. Okay, preguntas eh, de yes and no del verbo to be. Lo que estábamos viendo. So we have the verb to be, subject and complement. And we have, ¿cómo se llama esto? How do we call this? How do we call that? Ayer se lo dije. How do we call this in English? Mm -hmm. Yvette, how do we call this? No, 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 I don't remember. Okay, <laughs> let's see, Liliana, how do we call this? No, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Cuando usted no sepa algo, I don't know, teacher. Okay, let's see, Erica, how do we call this? Are you there? Repeat, please. Yes. How do we call this um, symbol? ¿Cómo le llamamos a ese símbolo? Question mark. Question mark. Very good. Anótelo porque mañana se lo voy a volver a preguntar. Usted se va a dar cuenta que conmigo yo le voy a preguntar todo lo que le voy enseñando. Todo. Para que usted practique y estudie. Cuando no sepa, diga, I don't know. Ok. So then we have, are they mechanics? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto? Repita después de mí ahí, usted solito. Mechanics. Mechanics. Ok. The CH en algunas palabras no es como mechanics. No, it is mechanics. Okay, so let me ask you, are they mechanics? No, they are not. Are they doctors? Yes, they are. Okay, look at the examples. Vea los ejemplos. Look at the examples. Are they mechanics? No, they are not. Lo que les explicaba, no, no es necesario decir no, they are not mechanics. No es necesario. Okay, so are they mechanics? No, they are not. Are they doctors? Yes, they are. Okay, do you have questions? Tiene preguntas. If not, I have. Si no, yo sí tengo para usted. Do you have pre questions? Uh -huh. Mi pregunta es de que estos son complementos, pero ¿en qué ocasión es adecuado tener la respuesta corta y tener una respuesta con el complemento? Mm, ok, muy buena pregunta. That is a really good question. Ok, so, as you can see, estas son preguntas cerradas. Sí y no, como en español. Es lo mismo, sí y no. También en inglés tenemos preguntas abiertas, las cuales vamos a cubrir. ¿Y cuáles son las preguntas abiertas? Las WH questions. 
Donde es así, vamos a dar una explicación. We are going to give, I would say, a longer explanation. Una explicación más larga. Pero en estas, no, es como que yo le pregunté en español. Eh, ¿Tienes hambre? ¿Sí? ¿O no? ¿Ok? Entonces, lo que estamos viendo en este momento son preguntas cerradas, por lo tanto, solamente son como, no, they are not, yes, they are. Yes, that is the difference. Esa es la diferencia. ¿Ok? So, do you have any other question, Franklin? ¿Eso resuelve yes. su duda por el momento? ¿Ok? Yes. Ok, digan. ¿Alguna otra duda? No. No, no question. No question. Ok, somebody else? ¿Alguien más? No? Ok, perfect. Let's move then. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue. Ok, so now we are going to practice. In pairs, en parejita no. nuevamente. Ok? So I'm going to move you to different breakout rooms and you are going to practice with your partner. Yeah, so you are going to make questions. Usted va a crear ahora las preguntas. Le he un ejemplo ahí. Is she a vet? Is she a vet? Is she a vet, Liliana? She is. Yes, she is. Okay. And then you are going to practice with your partner. The same thing. Okay, the same thing. Let me see. Um, Suleima, is she a secretary? No, she is not. Okay. Is she a nurse, Suleima? Yes, she is. Okay. Number two. Um, Franklin, is he a firefighter? Number two. Yes, I firefighter. Okay. Nueva vez. Franklin, la imagen número dos. Tenemos nurse and police officer. The second one, number two. So Franklin, is he a firefighter? Yes, he is okay. police officer. Oh, okay. So, but number two, el número dos, is he a firefighter? No. She? No, no. he is not. Um, okay. He is no. Yes, because we are asking you about the second one. Le estamos preguntando del segundo. He is not a firefighter. He is a police officer. Okay? Don't worry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, don't worry. Um, okay. Irvin, number three, Irvin. Is he a pilot? Yes, he Yes, he firefighter. Oh no, is he a pilot? Ah, pilot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, he a pilot. Mm, okay. Yes, Short answers. Respuestas pequeñitas. Okay. Short answers. Okay. So. Yes, he is. Okay. But number three, el número tres de arriba, el de arriba. Is he a pilot? Yes, he a pilot. Okay, let me see. Marcelo, number three. Okay, number three. Is he a pilot? Yes, I am firefighter. Okay, very good. Let me explain something. Usted está viendo que ese es un firefighter, ¿verdad? Entonces, la pregunta es, ¿is he a pilot? Eh, no. No, he is, is not. not. Okay. 
Si estamos viendo que no es un pilot, entonces vamos a decir, no, he is not. Okay. This one, number four. Number four. Tania, is she a nurse? No. No, she's not. Okay, number five. Marcelo, number five. Is he a police officer? No, he's not. Okay. And number six. Um, Marco, is he a firefighter? No, he is not. Okay. So, what is he? What is he, Marco? Is he a pilot? He is a pilot. Okay. Very good. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas. Tiene dudas. Now? You are clear? Yes? Mm -hmm. No questions? No tiene preguntas? Sí o no? No. No? Eh, yo no le había entendido a la pregunta porque eh, me dijo del segundo, yes. pero hasta después entendí que me estaba preguntando si era fire, fire. Entonces, por ah. eso es que me, me confundió. Ok, no worry. Ok, no se preocupe. Estamos aprendiendo. ¿verdad? Así que estamos bien. Si tiene dudas, hágalas. No se quede con la duda. No tenga miedo y no tenga pena. ¿Ok? La pena es lo peor que uno puede tener. ¿Sí? Así que no tengamos pena. Ok. Now let's practice. Let's practice and you are going to practice with your partner. Same thing. I'm going to send you to different breakout rooms and you are going to practice what we have just practiced. Va a practicar lo que acabamos de hacer. Lo que acabamos de hacer. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacer un, una prueba. Quiero ver, vamos a hacer una prueba para saber que todos estamos en la misma sintonía. Vamos a hacer lo mismo que yo estaba haciendo con usted. I need two volunteers. Necesito dos voluntarios. Ok. So, Tania and Joni. Muy bien. So, Tania, usted le hace la pregunta a Joni. The, the first image, la primera imagen. De la, la primera. Si Johnny uh, dentist. Ok. Is he a dentist? Is he a dentist? Johnny? Yes, he is. Ok. So. Dos más. Necesito otras dos personas. Ok. Liliana is one. And Marco. Ok. So, Marco, please ask the question a uh, tu Liliana. Pero esta vez, equivocado. Que eso no es un dentista. Diga que si él es eh, a builder, un constructor. Ok. Y es que a uh, Bill, Bill, ¿qué dijo? Builder. Bill, Bill, builder. He is a builder. Is he a builder? No, he is. No, he is. Le, falta, le falta algo ahí, Liliana. No, no, he is not. No, he is not. Muy bien. Ok. So right now I'm going to send you to different breakout rooms and we are going to practice, ¿ok? Vamos a practicar. Así que vamos a crear nuevamente los breakout rooms. Déjenme crearlos. Ok. Let's practice. Ok, there you go.
Okay. So let's practice together. Okay. So Brian, is he a mailman? Oh, yeah. First one. The the first imagine. Image. Yes. No, he's not. What is he? The dentist. He is a dentist. A dentist. Uh, what about the second one? Is he a chef? No, he's not. He okay. is a mailman. Perfect. What about number two? Is he a janitor? No, he is not. He is a chef. Very good. Is he a secretary? No, he is not. He is a paint painter. Yes, very good. Is he a handyman? No, he is not. He is a janitor. Is he a librarian? No, he is not. He is a handyman. Okay. Is he a farmer? No, he is not. He is a librarian. Librarian. Repeat after me. Is he librarian? <laughs> Say it. Dígalo. Librarian. Okay, I think that he is having issues with a librarian. Okay, librarian. Yes. And this one, the last one, is he a painter? No, he is not. He is a foreman. A farmer. Okay, very good. So let me move you to a different room. Okay, so you are going to practice with somebody else. Okay. Okay, let me see. I'm going to six. <laughs> Okay, give me one second. Okay, seven. Okay, there you go. Okay, hi Irma, how are you? Hello? Hello? Irma? Hola, hello? Oh, hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you? I am good. Okay, Irma, so you are going to practice with me right now, okay? okay. Irma. Is he a mailman? Number one? Yes. Mm, no, he is not. Number two, is he a chef? No, he is not. Number three, is he a painter? No, he is not. Number four, is he a model? No, he is not. Ok, now your turn, Irma. Usted me va a preguntar a mí y yo le voy a responder con la cuatro de abajo. Ok. Uh, uh, pronunciation de la... Yes. Four. Genitor. 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 Con la T, genitor. Genitor. Yes. Genitor. Uh, he is, gen is he genitor? Is he a genitor? El A. Is he a genitor? Ah, he, is, is he, he a genitor? Genitor. Uh, genitor. Um, no, yes, he is. Number two. De la de abajo. Um, he is a. Um, el verbo tuvi primero, chef? Irma. ¿Perdón? El, el verbo tuvi primero. Okay. Is. 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 Yes. Is. She. Um, her. A uh, chef. A chef. No, he is not. Okay, number three. 
Um, he is he is a farmer. Oh no, he is not. Number four. He is he is a a painter. A painter. No. Painter. He, no, he is not. Ok. Irma, recordemos, el verbo tú iba primero. Is he a painter? ¿Sí? Yes, yes. Ok, very good. Let me um, move you to a different room so you are going to practice with somebody else. Ok. ¿Tiene okay. alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Uh... Not, not to turn not. No? Okay. All right. So right now, let me move you then. Let me see. I'm going to move you to room three. Okay. Let me see. Hi, Jose. Hi, teacher. Oh, what happened? <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, I'm going to uh, move you to a room so you can practice, okay? Okay, thank you. Entendimos ya, ¿verdad? Okay. Do you have any doubt? No. No? Okay. All clear. All clear. Okay, so I'm going to bring, let me see. I'm going to move Brian with, okay, let me, yeah. And I'm going to bring Erica with you, Ervin, okay? So, oh, we have Marcelo and Tanya. Okay, waiting. Let me see. Okay. All right. Practice with Erica. Hi, Erica. How are you? Hi. Fine. Thanks. Okay. So let's see. Let's practice. I want to listen how you practice and how you make the questions. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Letter A is Irvin and letter B is Erika. Okay, so primero Irvin, una Irvin, una Erika. Okay. okay. Pero solo una pregunta yes. antes de empezar. Nosotros vamos a decir lo que no es la lo primera. Que no es. Okay, okay, okay. Entonces, he sería is he a chef? No, he's not. And no, he's not. Good. Now you're talking, Erika. No worry, okay? Teacher, otra pregunta, digamos, como para solventar la pregunta, digamos, ella dijo, no, no, he's not, pero uno puede decir, no, he's not, he's, y decir lo que es, ¿verdad? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, Erika, okay. you're okay. going to turn. Erika, hace la pregunta. Esta, pero va a decir otra profesión que no está aquí, que no es esta. Diga otra de esta que está acá alrededor. Pregúntele a Irving. Is he librarian? Ok, is he a librarian? Ok. No, he's not. He's an editor. A janitor. A janitor. Yes. Sorry. Janitor. Do you know what is a janitor? Janitor. Lim limpieza? Yes. Es un conserje. Uh -huh. Conserje. Okay. ok. Irving, una vez más. ¿Con cuál? No, the second one. Letter A. Second one. Ok. Is he a farmer? Is he a farmer? 
he is not. No. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you, Erika, ahora usted le pregunta a Irvin. If, if he uh, a dentist? Okay. No, he's not. No, he's, he's not. a chef. He's a, uh, well, no, handyman. Oh, he's a good age of chef. Oh, no. Oh, for the handyman. Okay. He's Great. Handyman. Mm -hmm. He is a handyman. Okay, let me call you back to the main room, okay? Give me one second. Okay, Franklin, is he a mailman? Number one, is he a mailman? Yes, I, a dentist. Okay, is he a mailman, Franklin? Uh, he, yes, I am, no. not a dentist. No, he is not. Okay. He's not. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Suleima, number one, el que estoy señalando. Pueden ver el puntero que, que lo señalo. ¿Sí? Yes. Muy bien. Okay, perfect. Suleima, is he a painter? He is not. No, he is not. Otra vez. No, he is not. Yes. Franklin. Is he a painter? He is not a painter. No. No, he is a painter. No, he is not. He is not. Okay, la respuesta tiene que ser corta. Uh, he is not. No, he is not. No, he is not. Yes. Yvette, is he a chef? No, he is not. Marcelo, is he a chef? No, he is not. Jose, is he a chef? No, he is not. Johnny, is he a chef? No, no, he is not. Marco, is he a chef? No, he is not. Tania, is he a chef? No, he is not. Um, okay, so let's see. Erica, is he a chef? No, he is not. Okay, so Franklin, is he a chef? No, I'm, no he is not. No, he is not. Okay, very good. Excellent. Is he a scientist? Is he a scientist? Yes, he is. Yes, yes he is. Okay, yes, he is. Is he an artist? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Is he a gamer? Yes, yes, he is. Is he a chef? Yes, he is. And is he a doctor? Yes, he is. Yes, okay, repeat after me. Now pronunciation. Scientist. Scientist. Repeat after me and say scientist. 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 Artist. 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 Gamer. 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 Chef. 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 And doctor. And, and doctor. doctor. Yes. Very good. Okay. Let's keep moving. And now, 
we have the role play. Tenemos un role play. We have Ana, Carlos, Ana, Carlos, Ana, Carlos, and Ana. One is going to be Ana and the other one is going to be Carlos. Okay, role play. Let's see, I need one volunteer. Well, two volunteers. Let me see. Puedo ser Ana. Okay, Irma, Ana. Okay, I need, yes. I need Carlos. <laughs> Yvette, Carlos. Okay, so Ana, uh, Irma, and Yvette, Carlos. Intonation okay. and a style, okay? Entonación y estilo. Okay, Irma. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. It is Miss Diana Andrade. No, she say not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and and are you the supervisor? Supervisor. Supervisor. Excuse no. Me. No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Ms. Lopez. Very good. Okay. Muy bien. Okay. That was a good job. Just remember supervisor. Supervisor. Okay. So now I'll give you two minutes to practice in pairs. Okay. Le voy a dar dos minutos para practicar en pareja. Just two minutes. Let me see. Okay. So here we go. Yes, I think. So, yes. Is Irma here? No, I think that. Mm. All right. No. Okay. Let me see. Okay, déjeme, déjeme ver por qué me aparece dos veces su leima. Vamos a traer a, a Liliana para que practique con Liliana. Okay. Está en dos dispositivos. Bueno, Irma. Irma está en dos dispositivos. Ok. Salón 5. Ok. Liliana. Hola. Ok. Liliana, you are going to practice with Sule. Lo siento, no estaba en la clase porque siempre que me ingresa al grupo se me sale y tengo que volver a ingresar y no podía ingresar. Oh, ok. Maybe because of the internet, tal vez por la conexión de internet. Creo que sí. Ok. Muy bien. Suleima, eh, ¿por qué con Liliana? Le comento lo que okay. estamos haciendo de ropa. Yes, let me supervise the other room. Voy a entrar a las demás salas para ver eh, cómo van ellos, ok? Okay, that's good. Thank you. Ana Trujillos. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. To uh, excuse me, he, she, Mr. Eh, Diana Andrade. Sal person. Ok. Eh, de nuevo, si quieres, comienzo yo o comienzo tú otra vez. Ok. Eh, me parece. Hello. Eh, I am Franklin Portillo. Hi, Franklin. I'm Mr. Enrique Alas. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, perdón. Sorry. Uh, nice to meet you. 
Excuse me. She is Miss Jane Andre. No, she is not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Oh, okay. Are were you subscribers? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Enrique. Okay. Supervisor. Supervisor. Yes, supervisor. And scroll Sup down. And scroll down. Scroll. And you will see the other speaking practice. And scroll down. It's, okay. It's, uh, okay. Yeah, sorry. All right. So oh. then here you will see this one, the speaking time. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So you will see the speaking time. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Hi, how are you? Hello. I am I am happy. I am you. Mm -hmm. I am happy too. Let's Okay, so let's practice with this one. Move with this one. Move to this one, Johnny. Eric, are you there? Eric? Okay. Eric. Hello. Hi, Eric. So, Johnny, are you practicing with Eric? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So I want to listen, Eric. Uh, Eric, you are letter A. Johnny, you are letter B. All right. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hello, Eric. Hello. I am happy, and you? I am happy too. Let's practice. Okay. Are you an a doctor, actor? An actor. An actor. Are you an actor? Yes, an actor. Yes, I am. Um. Yes, an actor. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's okay. Is your mom a teacher? Mm -hmm. Or no, I am. No, she is not. No, she is not. Okay. Is your dad a dentist? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, uh, a dentist. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay. Okay, is your brother an architect? Architect? Architect. Really? No. Yes. no one. No is. No, he is not. No, he is not. Correct. Okay, so I'm going to bring Erica. Um, Johnny, so you can practice with Erica, and I'm going to move Eric. Okay, so Eric, you go to room two. Okay, practice this one with Erica. This one with Erica, Johnny. Okay. Right. Okay. Hi. How are you? Hello, I am happy, and you? I am happy, so? 
Let's practice. She is Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? 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 No, I am a solid person. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay. Okay. So repeat after me and say salesperson. Salesperson. Yes, salesperson. Now I need you to practice the second the second scenario. Role play number two. Okay. Okay. So you are going okay. to follow A B A B. Okay. Very good. Okay. Continue. Let's see. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay, continue, continue. Okay, empiezo. Hello, ¿Verdad I am que, Ana Trujillo. ¿verdad que, Sorry. Solo una pregunta, teacher. ¿Verdad que en la palabra supervisor es supervisor? Very good, Tanya. Supervisor. Supervisor. Yes. Tal, tal, tal person. Sell. Tal person. Sell. 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 I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is he Mr. Diana Andrade? No, she is not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. Uh, and are uh, you the supervisor? Supervisor? Mm -hmm. Supervisor. <laughs> no, I am not. I am salad person. Salesperson. Salesperson. Sorry. Okay. So now switch. Thank you so much. Yes. Move to the second role play. Okay. Okay, that one. The second one. Okay. Ahora para que. Yes. Oh. Okay. No sé si empiezo yo o ella. Um. Okay. So. Yo Tania. Abajo de la página. Yo que... con Ana. Sí. Ah, el de hablar, el que dice speaking time. Yes, that one. Yes. Uh, hi. What are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Mm -hmm. Hello. I am happy. And you? I am happy too. Mm -hmm. Lace to price. Let's practice. Let's practice. Okay. Are you an actor? Uh, yes. Yes, you, yes? No. Oh, no. Yes. No, no, are, no. Are you yes. an actor? Are you, oh. are you, Tanya? Are you an actor? Uh, yes, I am. I am. I am. Yes, okay, I am. Very good. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> okay, well done. Okay, continue, Irvin. Is your, is your mom a teacher? No escuché. Is your mom a teacher? Uh, yes, I am. Mm, is your mom? Your mom. Mom, ah, uh, mom. Uh, yes, no, mom, mom, not. No, she is not. No, she is not. She is your. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is yes. your dad a dentist? Uh, no. She is not. Very good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is your brother. Um, architect. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Yes, he, he is. Okay, very good. Okay, let me go to the next room and I will call you back to the main session, okay? Give me one second. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's wait for the other ones to to come back. Okay. Do you have questions about this? Um, pronunciation. Okay. Pronunciation. How are you? How are you? Repeat after me and say you alone. Okay. You say solito ahí. Diga how are you. How are you? Yes? And what am I asking you if I uh, ask you, how are you? Si yo le digo así, how are you? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo se encuentra? How are you? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Uh, hi, how are you? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hi, how are you? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Correct. Okay. So, let's Practice. Practiquemos. Let's practice. Practiquemos. Let's practice. Okay. Let's practice. Suleima, are you an actor? No, I am not. Thank you. Liliana, are you a teacher? No, she is not. Oh, are you? Are you a teacher, Liliana? Uh, yes, she is. Okay, but I'm asking you, le estoy preguntando a, a usted, Liliana. Si usted es una maestra, are you, are you a teacher? No, she is. Mm -hmm. No, I am not. Very good. No, I am not. Uh, okay, so Jose, are you an actor? No, I am not. Marco, are you a supervi supervisor? No, I am not. Okay, very good. So, if you don't have any question, okay, o tienen preguntas acerca de las uh, preguntas del verbo to be, ¿tenemos alguna duda? Eh, solo recordemos algo, ¿ok? Recuerde que si le preguntamos con el are you, le estamos preguntando por usted, porque para eso tenemos los pronombres. Entonces, si le preguntamos are you, le decimos es usted. Are you an actor? ¿Es usted un actor? Sí, entonces vamos a decir, no, yo no soy un actor, ¿verdad? No, yo no. No, I am not. Es por eso que no podemos decir no, he is not, porque no nos están preguntando por él. Nos están preguntando por nosotros. Are you? Ok. Eh, vi que Tania levantó la mano. Eh, y cuando es, en vez de are you, es igual que en la otra donde sale que que si es tu mamá profesora, la de if you mom a teacher. El, el you, el. Es de como de tu, tu mamá, por decir, por, por, por decir el tener. Correct. So, si le decimos is your mom a teacher, entonces le estamos preguntando por su mamá. Entonces va a ser una ella. Si le preguntamos It's your dad Va a ser él Porque es su papá Ok Perfect Ok So basically That's pretty much about the just no question Ok Recordemos que tenemos las evaluaciones Ok Dentro de la plataforma Y esto está en las evaluaciones 
Así que si tenemos preguntas, hagámosla para que su evaluación salga bien. ¿Ok? Ahora, um, vocabulary, vocabulario. Do you know what is the meaning of mailman? Who knows what is a mailman? El cartero. El cartero. El cartero repartido muy bien. Very good. What is the meaning of janitor? El de manutención. Limpieza. Eh, Ordenanza, conserje. Very good. The handyman. Es como carpintero, de ese tengo dudas. Constructor, carpintero. Ah, muy bien. Ok, so, the handyman es una persona de mantenimiento. Así le decimos, handyman. Es, perdón, es como oh. mantenimiento en general. I'm sorry, José. Es como mantenimiento en general. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. The handyman. Librarian. ¿Qué es un librario? El bibliotecario. <laughs> yes, ok, very good. Ok, the scientist, you know, that is un científico. Yes, ok, a gamer, you know, that is the person that loves to play video games, right? All right, so now let's move. A versus an, or a versus an. Remember that this can be pronounced a or an. It can be pronounced a or a. Se puede pronunciar de las dos maneras. A or a. Y está correcto. Ok, so, eh, Brian, help us reading the definition, please, and the examples that we have in the letter A, and then Marco, please, an. Okay, and when the words start with the A consonant sound, we use A. And the examples? Uh, the example is a, a book, a car, a frog, a lemon, a truck, a computer. Thank you. Right. Is Marco here? Okay. And when the world starts, we uh, always on, uh, we use an, an octopus, an actor, an actress, an architect, uh, an engineer, an eraser. Eraser. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it says that Whenever the word starts with consonant sound, ¿ok? ¿A qué nos referimos? Si usted se fija, book comienza con qué? Con consonant. Consonante, consonant. Entonces vamos a agregar a. Then car, a. Uno. Un carro. Un libro. A frog. ¿Qué es frog? A frog. Una rana. A frog. A lemon. Pronunciation. Lemon. ¿Ok? A truck. And a computer. If you see something that those words have in common, is that they all start with consonant sound. Todas comienzan con sonido consonante. And then we also have an. And it says that we are going to use an with the words that it starts with a vowel sound. Vowel. Vowel sound. We have octopus, actor, Actress, architect, engineer, and eraser. If you see, all of those are vowels. 
¿Y cuáles son las vocales en inglés? Let's see. Yvette, ¿me las puede decir? A. Y. Uh -huh. e o. O. U. Ok. Let's see. Um, Suleima. A. I. E I. O. U. 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 Very good. U. Yes. So, A. E. I. O. U. Esas son las vocales. ¿Y cómo se dice vocales? Vowels. Ok. So, let's see. Um, we are going to take attendance. Ok. Vamos nuevamente con la asistencia. Give me one second. Let me open. Um, ok. So, let's see. Brian Antonio. Present. Yes. Christian Marcelo. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrillas. Presente. No. Ok. Um, Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Thank you. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Present. Thank you. José Enrique Silesar Alas. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Jocelyn. Ok. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Luis. Ok. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Ok. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present teacher. Yes. Suleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you, Suleima. Ok. Very good. So then, let's continue. Ok, just, um, let's see, just remember, in the, uh, today, Christian, ok, you are the one that um, we're going to have the feedback, ok, so just for you to, don't forget, ok, no se le vaya a olvidar. Ok, so then, let's move, ok, we still have some minutes, and we are going to practice a versus an, let me see, sigo teniendo problemas con mi cámara, ok, Eric. Ok, so now, remember, recordemos, ok, a, when the sound is a consonant, and an, when the sound is vowel. Ok, so, number one, a or an? An. An. An, ok, or a. It's a. Ah. Very it's good. A. It's a. a. Because it's banana. Mm -hmm. a banana. A banana. A banana. A. A. A banana. Yes. Number two. A or an? An. An ice cream. An ice cream. Yes. Number three. Pear. A pear. A pear. A pear. A pear. Number four, orange. And orange. Yes. Number five, apple. And, 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 and
apple. Cake. A cake. A cake. A cake. A cake. Yeah. Umbrella. 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 A book. 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 And. 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 A cat. A cat. A cat. A cat. An apple. Elephant. An elephant. Elephant. An a speaking time. We have the example. Alejandro Sands is a singer. What about Selena? Selena. 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 Quintanilla. Quintanilla. Okay. Selena Quintanilla <laughs> is a is a a singer is a singer is a singer a singer is for both yes singer is for both men okay. and women yes number three Eugenio Derbez an actor is a singer an actor he is an actor he is he is, he is an actor. An actor. Very good. Okay, what about number four? Who is he? Quien es? Who Tom is he? Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Uh, an actor. He is an actor. An actor. Very good. Who is she? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Uh -huh. Sandra Bullock is an uh, an actor. An actor or an actress? Actress. 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 An actress. actress. What about Shakira? Shakira, Shakira is, a, is, is a singer. A singer. He's a singer. Who is he? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. And Jim Carrey is? A actor. An, an, actor. an actor. Okay. All right. Let's move. Okay. So he is Shayan. Okay. Shayan. And Shayan is a singer. A singer. A singer. What about this one? Okay. Who is he? 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 Uh, soccer player. Soccer uh, player. Okay, good. Okay. So, what about this one? Sylvester Stallone. Yes. Okay. Is, is an actor. Yes. Is an uh, actor. Uh, uh, actor. Okay. What about this one? Who is he? Eh, no me recuerdo de eso. Por eso te gusta el cable. Okay. So. He is Liam Neeson. Liam is a actor. Okay. Liam Neeson is an actor. What about who is she? Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. An actress. An actress. Very good. And what about this one? DR7. Okay. Soccer player. Okay. Very good. So you see. Soccer player. Okay. Okay. So before we go, because we are almost done with today's class, I'm going to explain something. Okay. Vocabulary. Prepositions. Before we go. Okay. Prepositions. We have before, after, next to. And between. What is the meaning of before, teacher? ¿Qué significa? What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa? Before is, is después. Antes. Well, and, oh. 
And after is this. This was. Next to means al lado de. Al lado. Al lado de. And between. En En medio. En medio. Okay. En medio. Ok. Usted solito o repita después de mí. Before. 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 After. 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 Next to. Next yeah. to. Between. 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 Very good. So we have three dogs. How many dogs do we have right here? How many? Three. Three dogs. Okay. Three dogs. So we have Rocco, Blackie, and Milo. So Rocco is antes que Blackie. Entonces, ¿cómo puedo decir que Rocco es antes que Blackie? Rocco before. Before and Blackie. Rocco before. Blackie. Ok, Rocco is before, before. Blackie. Ok, ahora, ¿cómo puedo decir que Blackie está después que Rocco? Blacky after, 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 after Rocco. Blacky is after, after Rocco. Rocco. Y hoy cómo puedo decir que Milo está a la par de Blacky? Milo, Milo, Milo is next to Blacky. Is next to Blacky. Next to, a la par de. Y entonces, ¿cómo digo que Blackie está en medio de Rocco y de Milo? Blackie. Blackie, between. Blackie between. Rocco y Milo. Y Milo y Rocco. Bien. Blackie is between decir... Milo and Rocco. Es correcto mencionar. Blackie is between they. Between them. Them. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. What is the meaning of before? ¿Qué significa before? Antes. And Antes. after? Después. Después. Okay. Ahora les pregunto. Um, so, si queremos decir que la A está antes que la B, ¿cómo lo decimos? A is... Before the A after B. Okay. Yes. B, after B. Yes. A is is after B. No, porque la A no puede estar después de la B. La A está antes. Before. 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 Before B. A before B. Yes. Ahora, si quiero decir que la B está en medio de la A y la C. B is between C and A. Uh -huh. Y si quiero decir que la C está en medio de la uh, B y la D. C between them, D and B. Between B and D. Okay. Very good. Tomorrow we are going to make a review on that. Mañana vamos a repasar con eso. Okay. All right, so now we have five sentences and we have mistakes. ¿Qué es un mistake? Un mistake es un error. Todas esas oraciones tienen mistakes. Todas tienen errores. I need you to identify the mistake in number one. ¿Quién me puede decir el error en la primera? Hurry up. El verb to be. Um... Okay, so give me the complete sentence. Dígame la, la oración completa. ¿Cómo debería de ser? We are marketing managers. Perfect, Suleima. Well done. Excellent. Number two. Who can tell me what is incorrect? Uh, verbo to be. Uh, verbo to be. Margarita Marroquín. She is not Margarita Marroquín. She is not Margarita Well done. Number three. Natalia Antara eh, and the 
there are supervisors. There are supervisors. Supervisors. Okay, supervisors. Okay, so number four. Number four. My boss, my, my, my boss is my boss. Sandoval. Perfect. My boss is Jorge yes. Sandoval. Mm -hmm. Number five. The is. The is. Secretary. The mm. secretary is not Laura no. Miranda. Okay. There is secretary. Secretary. Yes, yeah, secretary. Uh -huh. Is not. Is not yes, Laura not. Miranda. Yes, Laura Miranda. Okay, very good. Okay, so what did we learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos ahora? Vamos a ver qué repasamos ahora, a ver si nos acordamos. A ver, vamos a ver. Le voy a preguntar. Alguien que me explique. Huh? What did we cover today? ¿Qué vimos ahora? Uh -huh. Vimos lo de las preguntas. Questions in English. Oh, sorry. Question. El A versus A. Um. Okay. Yeah. Y los errores. No Mi sé thing. cómo. Mistake y lo de también lo de before, after. Ok, vocabulary. Ok, okay. perfect. Ok, who can give me an example using a? Mm -hmm. Un Apple. ejemplo. Go again, Jose. Apple. An apple in a, a, uh, a, book. a car, a, a car, a car, un carro, a car, a, car. a computer, a computer, ¿Qué más? A, clock. a clock, okay, a lemon, a lemon, a, a, a pencil, a pencil, okay, very good, okay, so. The last thing that I'm going to ask you before we go. Okay, so just randomly, okay? Al azar. Erika, are you an architect? Repeat the question. Okay, are you an architect? No, Ar no. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Thank you. Uh, Suleyma, are you a secretary? No, I am not. Okay. Uh, Liliana, are you an actress? No, I am not. Mm -hmm. Very good, Liliana. Uh, Yvette, are you a builder? No, I am not. Okay. Very good. Ok, so if you don't have any question, alguna pregunta, alguna duda que tengan, nada más recordarles de las tareas, que por favor las realicen en la plataforma. Ok, que no se les vaya a pasar del día de mañana antes de la medianoche, tiene que estar terminada tarea 1, tarea 2 y tarea 3. Ok, so el único que se queda es Marcelo, please, para el feedback. Ok. So then, the other ones, have a good night, take care, estudie las clases que hemos visto. Ok, mañana vamos a repasar todo lo que hemos visto esos dos días. Ok, have a good night, take care, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ok. Veamos. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Creo que tiene el micrófono apagado, Maxi. Perdón. No Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. Ok, so how are you? 
Uh, I try. Okay. And you? I am good. I am good. I am happy. I'm okay. Yes, I am happy that we are learning English, right? So how do you feel with classes? ¿Cómo se siente con las clases? ¿Tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta? Para que le pueda yo ayudar eh, en un momento. ¿Qué sé de que me siento bien? Realmente voy a, a, aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Como, como todos. Y si hay el, algunas cosas en las que me he perdido eh, este día, pues primero no, no le había entendido al, al, a las negaciones, ¿verdad? Las preguntas cortas. Pero ya luego, pues con la práctica igual ya, ya uno le va entendiendo, ¿verdad? Y ahí más que todo eh, es en, en las question preguntas, en las question, eh, ya sea eh, para hacer una pregunta corta o una pregunta abierta, ahí es donde sí me he perdido más que todo. Ah, ok. Vaya, perfecto. Eh, para nada más como reforzar esa parte, ¿verdad? Y que usted pues sienta eh, básicamente que no le, no le cuesta esto. ¿verdad? de las preguntas abiertas y cerradas. Eh, se lo voy a explicar así bien sencillo. Recordemos que en español también tenemos lo mismo, preguntas abiertas y cerradas. Entonces, cuando se trata del verbo to be, okay, eh, básicamente las preguntas que vamos a hacer son preguntas cerradas. Es decir, eh, como les mencionaba, ¿verdad? por ejemplo, ¿estás feliz? Sí. Nosotros así respondemos, sí. Entonces, en inglés, ese sí es como decir, Are you happy? Yes, I am. En inglés, obviamente, no es nada más solo yes. O sea, cuando eh, eh, se trata de gramática, básicamente nosotros lo que tenemos que hacer es hacerlo un poquito más largo por la estructura del idioma inglés. Entonces, usted tiene que decir yes, I am. Y eso es un sí. Ese es un sí. Okay. Entonces, no podemos eh, hacerlas más largas porque la pregunta es cerrada. Entonces, todas las preguntas que hemos estado practicando son así. Todas. Todo lo que hemos visto este día, básicamente son preguntas cerradas. Is she a nurse? Is he a police officer? Is he a firefighter? Entonces, todas, todas, todas han sido preguntas cerradas. Entonces, tenemos que responder. Por ejemplo, is she a nurse? Yes, she is. ¿Ok? Y eso es toda la respuesta. Va a haber eh, un momento en que vamos a empezar a, a tener preguntas abiertas, donde sí vamos a tener que hablar muchísimo. Ok, so we are going to speak a lot. Pero para eso tenemos que, en primer lugar, pues empezar a construir todo con bases sólidas, ¿verdad? Porque cuando lleguemos a ese momento, ustedes pues puedan hablar eh, de la mejor manera y todo se va a ir cubriendo paso a paso. Entonces, por eso es que hemos comenzado con estos temas para que ustedes puedan agarrar vocabulario, confianza en el idioma, ¿verdad? Y que vayamos comprendiendo las ideas principales que son el verbo to be es la base para poder continuar con otros temas que tal vez son un poco más complejos, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. en este caso, estas preguntas son cerradas. Todas son cerradas. Entonces, si yo le pregunto a usted, Marcelo, are you a pilot? Eh, no, I am not. No, I am not. Y esa es su respuesta. No, I am not. Ok. Um, si yo le pregunto, are you a, build, uh, a builder? No, I am not. No, I am not. Are you a police officer? No, I am not. Are you a teacher? No, I am not. Ok. ¿Cuál es su profesión? Eh, estudiante. Ok, so, I am. I am a student. I am a student. ¿Es student o studying? Studying creo que es. Studying. Ah, okay, studying es un verbo. Pero ah, es, okay. student. Ok, student es la forma correcta de pronunciar el estudiante. Student. Ah, ok. Ok. Entonces, dígame, soy un estudiante. Dígamelo de nuevo. Eh, I am a student. Muy bien. Very good. Muy bien. Ahora, eh, ¿tiene alguna otra duda? Eh, no, más que todo, solo, solo, solo en esa tenía mi, 
mis dudas y de ahí lo del AM y lo del A, eh, sí, ya, ya lo manejo un poco bien. De ahí lo otro es eh, el tema de los verbos, eh, las preposiciones, before, after, next to, y el between. Eh, vale. El before es antes, ¿verdad? After es después. Next to, al lado de o a la par de. And between, en el medio de. Ok. Eh, so, in this example, we have three dogs, right? Tenemos tres perros. So, we have Rocco, Blackie, and Milo. So, if I want to say that Rocco está antes que Blackie, ¿cuál es la preposición correcta? Before. Rocco is before Blackie. Okay. If I want to say that Blackie está después que Rocco, entonces, ¿cómo lo digo? Uh, Blackie after a Rocco. Ok, vamos a utilizar el verbo to be. Blackie is, está. Ok. Uh -huh. After. Blackie after. is after a Rocco. Just after Rocco, porque aquí no tenemos a. Ok. Ok. Ahora, si yo quiero decir que Milo está a la par de Blackie. Milo, eh, quiero ver, sería. A la par de. Milo is eh, between a Blackie. Oh, ok, so, between es en medio. Ah, perdón. Eh, sería next to. Next to Blackie. Milo, Milo. Is next to Blackie. Blackie. Ok, y si queremos decir que Blackie está la, eh, en medio de Rocco y Milo. Permítanme. Ok. Disculpe, teacher. No worry, ok. No se preocupe. Bien, y si queremos decir que Blackie está en medio de Milo y Rocco. Blackie is between eh, Milo and Rocco. Yes, is between Milo and Rocco. Muy bien. Uh -huh. Así. Ok. Siempre cuando se, se, se ocupa estas preposiciones, eh, todo incluido el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque estamos diciendo que oh. está. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Correcto. Perfecto. ¿Alguna otra duda que tenga en este momento? Eh, no, más que todo solamente eh, en esas. Ah, vaya, perfecto. ¿Cómo se sentió entonces con la dinámica de la clase? Eh, pues súper bien. Realmente las, las dos horas de clase ni las siento. Ya cuando ya pasa la lista usted por segunda vez, yo digo, ay, a terminar porque realmente la siento bien interesante que no siento que pase el tiempo. Vaya, me alegra Entonces, que... sí. Sí, ok. Eh, la dinámica de, de ponerlos a practicar a ustedes, ¿le gusta? Sí, sí, bastante porque pues nos apoyamos eh, mutuamente con los compañeros y ellos eh, no pronuncian bien una, una let, eh, una frase. Eh, yo se las corrijo, ellos me las corrigen en lo poco que sabemos. Okay. O los dos discutimos en, 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 en cómo se, se pronuncia. Por ejemplo, el día de ayer eh, estaba la, la palabra same. Entonces, okay. eh, lo Discutíamos si era Sam o Same. Oh. Entonces, sí. Sí, ahí es como que sí nos apoyamos en lo poco que, que sabemos, ¿verdad? Igual eh, las correcciones eh, en el IAM, eh, muchas veces solo decimos I y no decimos el IAM, entonces no lo decimos completo. Entonces, esas pequeñas partes sí entre nosotros como que nos... La vamos corrigiendo y, y si sí es eh, bien dinámico realmente. 
Ok, bueno, me alegra que eh, sienta las clases pues súper dinámicas y que no, no siente el tiempo, ¿verdad? Que eso es pues lo esencial y es nuestro compromiso con ustedes de brindarles pues un servicio excelente y que las clases sean así, que no las sienta las dos horas que estamos aquí, ¿verdad? Así que sí, me alegra que pues la sienta así, ¿verdad? Que, que vaya aprendiendo y pues eh, no sé si tiene alguna otra duda, alguna pregunta, la plataforma, ¿todo está bien? Fíjese de que sí tuve hoy problemas para ingresar a la plataforma porque coloqué una contraseña y luego eh, puse la que cre creía yo que era, uh -huh. pero no me la aceptó. Entonces no pude entrar así como tal desde la computadora. Ah, ok, pero no, eh, ya, la, ya lo arregló. Sí, sí, ya. Ya de hecho ahorita voy a, a, a verificar lo de las tareas. Así que ya, ya pude entrar. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces me alegra mucho que estés sintiendo las clases interesantes, Marcelo. Y pues un gusto, ¿verdad? Estar siendo su maestra. Y espero que el día de mañana pues estemos ahí también puntuales, ¿verdad? Como siempre. Ok, muchísimas gracias. Igual a usted por la paciencia que nos tiene. Ya vamos no, empezando esto. Sí, pues, es un gusto. Todo sí, cambio a veces lleva su tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí, claro que sí. Entonces, sí, muchas bien. gracias. Bueno, un gusto. Ok, Marcelo, I'll see you back tomorrow, ok? Lo veo el día de mañana. Have a good night. Primero, adiós. Nos vemos. Feliz noche. Thank you. Ok.